Hi, I'm Supervisor Norman Yi, and I represent District 7. I have served the community my entire life, from helping my parents run a small business, to teaching at City College, to running a nonprofit that fought to provide better early care and education, all the way to holding elected office both on the Board of Education and the Board of Supervisors. I'm running for re-election so that I can continue to serve and make a difference. As a fourth generation San Franciscan, as a father, and as a recent grandpa, the future of San Francisco is really important to me. I want to be a part of making this place more welcoming, fair, and equitable. There are many issues impacting San Franciscans today, but three issues rise to the top. Number one, affordable housing. Number two, neighborhood and pedestrian safety. And number three, keeping our children and families in San Francisco. We're seeing families forced to leave the city because of a lack of affordable housing. I have supported increased funding for affordable housing and I have pushed successfully for more family-friendly units to be included in developments. I have supported affordable housing even for middle-income residents who are also being pushed out of the city as I am currently doing with the potential Balboa Reservoir housing project. There has been a spike in property crime throughout the city and District 7 is not immune to this trend. I support increased and better police presence in the neighborhoods. This includes the San Francisco Police Department to prioritize beat officers. I am and would continue to encourage stronger relationships between police officers, business owners, and residents. I brought back the two patrol officers, the beat patrol officers when we lost them temporarily. I have worked with former Chief Sir and now Chief Chaplain to have 12 new officers assigned to District 7's police stations. I have been working with the three police captains whose stations covered District 7 on strategies to counter the spike in property crime. We are concluding that what's needed are centralized neighborhood efforts that provide flexible strategies to respond to our crime issues. But we all acknowledge that these efforts need to be coordinated. As more and more cars flood our streets, it is important to implement traffic calming measures as well as push for stricter enforcement of our traffic laws in order to decrease pedestrian injuries and fatalities. I am proud to have authored the Vision Zero legislation that will direct resources towards solutions that will make our streets safer for everyone. Many of the pedestrian safety improvement measures we have seen in District 7 were initiated by ideas that come from our residents through my District 7 participatory budgeting program. Well, this program, which gives our residents a voice on how we spend city revenues, has also funded many qual quality of life programs throughout my district. Finally, I want to continue to support our families and children by working to improve our education system. My experience in this field is deep as I began my career as an educator and was the executive director of Wuyi Children's Services for 15 years where I worked to provide support to families across San Francisco. As a member of the Board of Education, I worked to increase funding and provide additional resources for education and to close the achievement gap. As supervisor, I have authored legislation to, in 2014 to support education and children's services and I have consistently worked to increase funding for these vital services. So I ask for your support today so I can continue to make our city a children and family friendly city that will always protect the dignity of our grandparents. Thank you very much.